What is dating in America, the US of A like? Well, let me tell ya. It ain't no walk in the park. It's uh <laughs> <laughs> When it comes to dating in America, there are three things you need to know. One, Tinder. One, Hinge. One, Grindr. And now these are uh, some of the most popular dating apps. And let's be honest, everybody uses dating apps now. Nobody wants to go out to a bar and meet somebody or go dance into a club. It's just it, these times are different. It's more convenient to date online. It's more convenient to use apps than it is to go outside and have to touch grass. So when it comes to dating, just in general, not just in America, I think it comes down to what goal you have so if your goal is to you know just get your rocks off or if your goal is to meet your life partner or if you want to have six life partners well you're gonna want to gauge it based on what app you're using or how you're approaching it let's talk about tinder if you're using tinder it this one's honestly probably the most diverse because a lot of the time most of people on tinder i think you think of it as a hookup app but some people do use it to find relationships i have found long-term relationships on tinder and I'm sure many people have. Um, I don't know if that's just happenstance and it just, you know, it's circumstance, it just happens, kind of you get lucky or what the deal is, but most of the time it's more often preferred for casual dating, you know, just getting down and dirty, just getting really into it and just, you know, busting a nut. So if you are going to use something like Tinder, I would say, Kind of just be honest with what you're looking for, you know, because I think that Tinder is the one where the playing field is the most open. I think you can find a ton of casual interactions or things that are more simple. Um, and you could probably, you know, put a little extra effort in and maybe find someone interested in a relationship. Let's talk about Hinge. Hinge is, I'd say, kind of like more on the side of your parents dating app. Now, while I will say I think Hinge is the best because it's got a ton of like prompts that can make easy conversation because let's face it, a lot of people are awful at conversation. Um, so it's good with icebreakers, good with helping people that don't maybe go out a lot or date a lot. Um, and Hinge is about 90% I think people looking for serious actual relationships that are gonna last you know like the having kids whole 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 shebang so I think if you're going into using hinge kind of be aware that most people aren't gonna be looking to have you know an orgy they're gonna be looking to have an orgy with their emotions last one on the list is grinder now grinder I think we know grinder is one of those sites where you're gonna be seeing a lot of gray sweatpants a lot of dong a lot of you know earlobes <laughs> You gotta be, you gotta be ready. If you're looking for casual, Grinders the way to go. If you're just looking for like a bing bang boom, you know, looking for a man to cuddle tonight, then Grinder might be perfect for you. Um, but if you're looking for more of like some sort of connection of any sort, I don't know why I did that motion. If you're looking for any sort of connection that's more than just thrusting, uh, Grinder's probably not the place for you. I'm just gonna be honest. Maybe some people get lucky, but I, I don't have, I haven't heard many stories where it works out. All the dating apps aside though, I think it is important with any dating, especially in the US to realize, I think a lot of people kind of get caught up and overwhelmed with dating now, because the thing is, say you date someone for a week and it's going great, but then suddenly they just disappear, ghost you. I think a lot of that isn't just due part, like maybe it's you, maybe you're awful, but I think more likely is that it's so easy to find people on dating apps now that even when I'm going out with someone I could like, there's always that thought in the back of your head now where you're like, but there could be someone better on the dating app I was just spending, you know, every, every night at 2 a.m. on. I think it's important to note that dating in the U.S. is kind of fickle and uh it isn't for everybody it's very fast paced and very very like uh, the thing i noticed is that it always feels like there's like a ticking timer when you match with someone so you say you match with i don't know uh, Jessica, and you match with Jessica, and you say, yo, and I'm like, yo, and I feel like you have maybe like a day or two after matching to like kind of schedule like, when are we gonna meet up? Like, is this like be worth doing? Like, kind of thing, because like people have wasted so much time on these apps with people that just never make it go anywhere, never create headway with dating. So I think people just wanna like get to the point. You know, people want that quick serotonin. 
Easy peasy. My best advice to say, I know I've just kind of been rambling, is that if you are gonna start dating in the US or have been and kind of are lost, to just know what it is you're looking for, kind of set that bar pretty high. And um, I say it works best like match slowly rather than just like, you know, speed run the matches, like kind of match with someone, see the vibes there. And if not, you know, just be like, hey, vibes are not there. You don't like N64 games. And uh, you're not a gooner like me, so I gotta, I gotta split. You just gotta know what you want and figure that out little by little. And um, you don't have to like act like everybody else does on the apps. I mean, I like I said, it is very fickle, very like material nowadays. So just kind of be aware of that and uh, create a good profile that like balances who you are, you know, and make it fun and chill and just have a good time. You know, respect people, respect yourself and uh, other than that, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment, and I will see you next time, cuties. All right, bye. Call me back, Brian.